Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Ikeo and I just got done watching Dungeons and Dragons on Honor Among Thieves guys and even though I didn't see this yesterday, I, see, I did see it today and I enjoyed it. Look, I wasn't expecting a whole lot from this movie. It is another fancy movie. It is my favorite genre of all time. So of course I was going to check it out and I enjoyed myself. I didn't love it though. I know some people are like over the moon when it comes to raving about this movie but it's not like, you know, my favorite movie of the year which is still Galaxy Galaxy Volume 3. So that's that. So let's just jump right into this review, guys. So for my pre-rating score, I want to say that Dungeons & Dragons on Among Thieves is a good movie. I had a good time with it. Nothing more, nothing less. So there's that. Now, in terms of the story, it's really a similar story. We have these thieves and they have to come together and form this group to pretty much, well, I, I wouldn't really... I don't really want to spoil the plot, but the trailers don't give a much much away of what the real story is. But basically, there's these different obstacles, and there's a main villain, and there's twists and turns, and it's a normal movie, but it's a fancy movie as well. So there's that. Now, in terms of the positives, the action in this movie was really cool. I really liked the action in the movie. I thought some of the characters were cool. Um, Chris Pine was great in the movie. Michelle Rodriguez actually was surprisingly good. I'm saying surprisingly. Uh, good because i know she's not that good of an actress because she's mostly known to be in like fast and furious and stuff right even avatar she didn't blow me away too so there's that um justice smith was good sophia lewis was good uh hugh grant yeah there is one cool cameo though i thought that was kind of funny to see that particular actor but i was like who is the cameo in this movie because they did say there are cameos in this movie but there's really only one so there's that and finally and speaking of characters actually before i move into the dead and five positives I also like how each character had enough like depth for us to care about them and like see where they come from and bit about their past and backstory too. Even uh, Reggae John Page too. I really liked it without spoiling anything. I thought it was cool how they handled his character and his backstory a bit as well. So it's that. And finally, I thought that this movie had some good humor. There was one particular scene and moment that I like laughed quite hard. I'm not gonna lie. And there is a post credit scene. I won't say what it is. And the joke is in the post credit scene. Um, that's not a spoiler because I didn't say what the joke is, so there's that. Now, in terms of negatives, unfortunately, the movie is cliche. It's, it's another stereotypical fancy movie. They didn't blow me away with anything, like, none of the battles were the craziest thing in the world, but I did like the action. It just felt cliche, and speaking of cliche, the villain in this movie is just absolutely nothing. Like, there's no real layers given to the villain at all, and, yeah, it's just, it's just really disappointing finally is that the movie is a bit slow i did find the movie kind of dragging at times but i still enjoyed myself over the dungeon dragons on one thieves is a good solid ride i know this is a quick one because um usually some of my reviews go on for some time and i always try to keep my end to the word but overall Dungeon dragons on one thieves is a good solid film and as a final score i'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 i do like this film but i don't think i watch it again but if they are making a franchise of this, I wouldn't, you know, say, oh, that is a bad idea. I would be down because I want more fantasy movies. We haven't got, like, an actual, like, big budget fantasy movie probably since the last Hobbit film. I mean, the last couple haven't been all that good. I mean, yes, Peter Pan when is a fancy movie, but that's more grounded. And I do appreciate that for doing that. But this, I enjoyed just because of how big it is. And I'm so glad people are loving it. I'm so glad... It did well the box office, even though it wasn't like a super big hit. But overall, I enjoyed this movie. So that. Now, that's all I have to say for this movie, guys. Now, before I go, I do want to say that I've started season 11 of One Piece, uh, the Savo Body Archipelago arc. And I've seen the first 10 episodes, so expect a review for that pretty soon. And that's it actually for reviews for a while because May, there's, I don't really care about Uda Mermaid Fast 6, unfortunately, I'm sorry. Uh, but that June is going to be stacked. We got Spider Verse, Transformers, Flash, and we also got Indiana Jones. And then we got TV shows like Secret Invasion and stuff. And then July, my birthday month, Oppenheim and Dead Reckoning Part 1. I can't wait for that. Hopefully, I can see some doors in the theaters. We'll see what happens. But I've seen everything I wanted to this year. On top of that, John Wick, which I didn't actually want to really see, but. I ended up seeing and I had a great time with that. So there's that. But there you guys have it. That's my review for Dungeon Dragons on the Month Thieves. Hope you guys enjoyed this review, guys. It's another catch-up one. I know. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. 
hope you guys enjoyed this review guys once again don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel my name is akil otherwise known as the comic director and i'm signing out